My husband is blind, and this is the day he became my husband. <laughs> yes, this day, right now, right here. Not today. Dun, 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 dun. Are you it wearing your a ring? Long Are time you ago. wearing your ring? Uh, no. Let me go get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's because we're not married yet, right? There we go. If you want it, put a ring on it. <laughs> I mean, really, we shouldn't even be wearing our rings yet. We're not married. So when Until did the this, end of day this happen? episode? When did this happen? Oh, when people this gave day, me a bone, you <laughs> became my husband. So this day was December fifteenth. 2019. Oh my gosh. Like our anniversary is coming up. It's coming up very, very soon. Four years. That's the math. So tell us. Tell us about this day you became so my husband. Or I became your husband. Before we dive into the big day. Yeah. If you haven't seen our relationship story up to this point, we cover everything from meeting all the way up to planning this big First day. First date, all the juicy details. The proposal video. That's yeah. a good one. So but right up here. Check this out. Go catch up if you are new, because you're going to want to hear the backstory. But maybe you don't. Maybe you're one of those people that doesn't care. Maybe you open to the middle you're of the You're just book like, I love reading. weddings. I'm a wedding person. Actually, that's a really good question. Were you a wet before this big day? What did you envision growing up as yeah. your favorite? We wedding? already answered that. Okay. Go look Guys, at this video. We've here. already answered that. <laughs> All right, so in the last episode, we talked about planning our destination wedding in Zihuatanejo, Mexico. And I think we left off just as we were arriving in Mexico. Yeah. We arrived how many days? I think a full five days before the wedding day. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Because as you it know... It was really nice, actually. Yeah, why did you like that so much? It just We had time to settle, to settle into our room, to enjoy the town... Yeah, it was really nice. It didn't feel rushed. It didn't feel. It didn't feel like rushed. we landed and like we had to hit Immediately, the road. Immediately, it's chaos. In fact, you know, many of the guests weren't arriving until the day before or a couple days before. Actually, they slowly trickled in. Different which times. Was also really nice because yeah. we got to kind of meet, greet, have lunch. We had with special people. Yes. As they started to arriving, so it mm -hmm. kind of like ramped up. Yeah. And then that same thing happened in reverse after. People afterwards. slowly left. So we also got to hang out with our guests <laughs> yeah. afterwards. It was really Wait, fun. Wait, that'll be it the next like... video is our honeymoon video. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not going to spoil that. But So our wedding was in Zihuantaneo at a bed and breakfast up on the hill overlooking this beautiful picturesque bay where the sun sets. Mm -hmm. So yes, it was the perfect spot and we were going to get married on, we, well we did, we got married on the rooftop of this Bed and beautiful breakfast. little boutique hotel. Had an hotel. infinity pool. Had an infinity pool, a That's great big said. rainbow, I'm just echoing. A I'm echo. your echo. <laughs> <laughs> but Matthew, we kind of left on a cliffhanger because we did not yet know what we were going to wear on our wedding. Had we even arrived when we finished the last video? No, we were just arrived. No, we had not arrived. Okay. So we arrived and we know the one thing we absolutely have to check off our list is the clothes. We did not have our clothes. There were a couple of things that um, Umberto and Jesus had to like take us around to like, was it to the cake or the flowers? I can't remember. They we took us to the flower shop. We it was so shop. beautiful. They took yep. us to this little, big actually, local flower place where Umberto took care of it all. He like spoke to the owner of the shop, kind of picked all the flowers, but we got to be there with them, and this place was stunning and fragrant so and beautiful. beautiful. And then another day, I think we went and looked at, oh, the clothing. Yeah, that's right. He took us to help us pick out our clothing. Now, the last video, we sort of um, hinted at the types of shirts we were looking for, and in my research, Matthew, yeah, this is a difficult word to pronounce. It's yeah. not what you thought it was. Oh, what is it? It's, it's called something else entirely. Where's your phone? You have to look it up and then okay. push the translation button. Okay. Okay. Look up. Yes. <laughs> traditional Mexican shirt. Traditional Mexican wedding shirt with floral embroidery. What's it called? It is called... It starts with a G, right? Oh, yes. I do not want to butcher this. How do you pronounce? And then I will copy and paste that in. Gayabera. Gayabera. Gayabera shirts. Gayabera. That's what we were looking for. So, Umberto and Jesus drove us down to this little tiny shop. So cute. Right down in the main... It's called Centro. Centro area of the central town. part of Ziwa. Lots of cute shops. Really fun to walk along. So, we went into this little 
clothing mm-hmm. shop, mm-hmm. And family we, owned. Yes. The mom and the dad you were talk, there. I'm gonna go grab the shirt. The uh, brother, who kind of, I think he ran the shop, um, and then his sister. So it was the four of them. Uh, she spoke the most English and actually did amazing translating. And she actually happened to be our Alaska gate agent when we left. So we got to see her one more time and say goodbye. Oh, did you mention how the sister was also our gate agent? <laughs> <laughs> and she had the biggest crush on you. Yeah. Oh my God. She, I was like, do you, you realize what this is, right? It's a wedding. Yeah. <laughs> so here's the shirt. Yep. Beautiful. That I picked out floral embroidery. Okay. So Matthew picked out an identical one. And yes. we were going to be matchy matchy in the same Gaia Barrow shirts. We were. Except what happened? You got back to the hotel and we tried them on again. And you were just like, this isn't fitting my body right. It was perfect on me. Matthew's more muscular than I am. So it just wasn't sitting on your body the right okay. way. So we thought maybe, listen, we have a couple more days. Yeah. Let's go back. Wait, did we have these tailored at all? Mine was, mine was tailored. Okay. Yes. We'd already picked them up and we decided mine didn't look great on me. So we went back and we picked out a stunning, Where's yours? beautiful <laughs> salmon colored <laughs> shirt. You still have it. You tell me to go get his. So this is, we went back to this place. It was actually not the same place. It was on the same street owned by the brother of the place that owned the first shop. And so we go down to the second shop and actually it was the gate agent girl who was in love with Matthew who escorted us down the street to the second shop. And this guy was just like so charming, so nice. Picked out this beautiful, I mean, did you pick this out? I mean, this just jumped out at us. This color yeah, is gorgeous. I love that color. It's yeah. so pretty. He had to tailor it for your arms, I think, and your chest. And like, he made it perfect. But he's like, I'm going to make this shirt perfect for you. Yeah. But it literally wasn't going to be ready until, I think, the day before the wedding. So we're like, okay, let's hope this works. He even, we, what we did he give you? We won't be redoing the shirt. No, this is our last chance. Yeah. And he gave you mascala. Do you remember that? Oh, that's right. We had shots of mascala. Yeah. I did not. I did not because I don't drink. But how was that? That was kind of fun. Like after buying the shirt, I mean, he's yeah, like pouring it was a mascala. Really fun experience. Yeah. I mean, I like these little family-owned businesses. It was so uh, cute. It was it, really, really great. It was. So we have our shirts. The most important thing, the one thing we did not travel with, was our wedding clothes. Okay. So now let's get to the big day. Okay. Now we've got our flowers, we've got our shirts. Yes. Right before, no, the night before the wedding, Umberto, our host slash wedding planner yeah. slash owner of the hotel, yeah. asked us, do you guys want music? And you, if you've watched our previous videos, you know I had said no music. I'm a wedding musician, have been a musician, was a wedding musician, and still a musician. I hate <laughs> music at weddings. And he said, a passion. are you sure? I can find a mariachi band for what I think is the equivalent of like $50. <laughs> and so I was like, okay, well, just like, tell us what you find. I wasn't committing to it. I was right. just saying, well, let you me You had know. one specification. What? No singing. You said no, no singing, singing, just instruments. Just instruments, yes. So? He came back like an hour later and he's like, okay, I can only find one group. Right. One mariachi group. The catch is there's 12 of them and they <laughs> are a package deal. Like you can't just hire a subset of that right. 12. No, they're all going to be there. So 12 wedding guests, 12 mariachi members. Mm-hmm. All women, by the way. It was an all women mariachi band. So we said yes. I mean, you have to. I mean, if you can hire a wedding group that is as large as your wedding party, you have to say yes. <laughs> but keep in mind... The, the caveat of this rooftop wedding experience was that we could only fit 12 people on the rooftop. They're like, isn't room for more than that? So what were we going to do? Have people hang over the edges? Okay. So we'll get to that. Okay. So the big So day, the night before we suddenly have, we have a 12 the piece band. mariachi band. Everything's ready. Everybody has shown up on time. We have had our pre- Wedding dinner at oh, one that of our favorite beautiful. restaurants called Casa Bahia. On the opposite side of the bay, where you can like look back all the way around the bay. 
It's gorgeous. You can see our little bed and breakfast up on the hill. And it's a little rooftop experience. And we have this super long table. And we right? Have, like you're hovering over the water. Mm -hmm. So if you ever go to Zihuataneo, go to Casa Bahia. All right, so that, that was, was so much fun. That was super fun. Yeah. And a lot of people were meeting each other for the first time. Yes. Friends that hadn't met family and family who hadn't met friends. Yeah. And so that was just a really fun evening. And I was just yeah. worry-free. My biggest worry, though, wow. Matthew, was... You? Okay, I had one worry. Worry? -free? One major worry. As you know, <laughs> my dream of this moment... Yes. ...to be on the rooftop in Mexico with a view of the Pacific Ocean was to say I do... Just as the sun was touching Kissed. the horizon. Kissing the horizon. But when we arrived in Mexico, every evening the sunset was completely blocked by this big bank of clouds. Yes. Way, way, way off on the horizon. So like the sun was hundreds like... Hundreds of miles away. There was just this like mm -hmm. bank of clouds. Big, thick. Sitting over bank of clouds. the water. So the sun would go behind the clouds before could, it got down to the horizon you'd never the water's see edge. It. and so we'd never get that spectacular sunset and it happened the first night the second night the third night the fourth night as we were there on our rehearsal dinner night at casa bahia again no sunset i was like absolutely sure that Paul we had brought the clouds said to that if it was cloudy the next day he refused to get married <laughs> no, that's not he true. would leave on a flight <laughs> back to seattle but I really was, over. was concerned. I was like, okay, you know what? You come to Mexico at the most beautiful time of year, guaranteed sunshine and beautiful sunsets, and it's not happening, then it's just not meant to be. But that was my biggest concern. I had no control over that. I wasn't really worried about anything. I was just there for the ride. I was there for the experience. Umberto had organized, planned, done everything to set up our wedding. I mean, this was my first wedding too, so I didn't really even know what to expect. And hopefully I mean, your last... <laughs> <laughs> but we have talked about doing like a vow renewal thing yes. someday. That, yes, which we want to. Which we want yeah. to do. The other thing that we haven't mentioned yet was that I was I begged you to play your oh. violin at our wedding as well. Yeah. And I think we can spoil what happened. Oh, yeah. So Paul did wear <laughs> me down. He chipped away at me until I eventually like Michelangelo gave in. and the David. I, I just eventually gave away. in and I was like, okay, I'll play my violin <laughs> yeah. one song. Mm -hmm. So we went from, I went from like absolutely no wedding no. musicians to <laughs> so much 12 music. piece mariachi band. And I was also going to be playing. I was also <laughs> going to be a wedding musician. So the stage is set. I don't know if I'm getting my sunset, but I'm definitely getting music at this wedding. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody has arrived. And we went to sleep that night. I think I got a really good sleep, yeah. to be honest. Okay, everything is ready. We're going to wake up the next morning, but we're going to finish this on the next video because we have run out of time. There is so much to talk about. This is, this is a big day. I didn't realize these five days before the wedding would take so much time to talk about. However, mm -hmm. we did have an issue during yes. this these five days before the wedding. There was a problem, led to some tears. We had to deal with it. Yeah, but we're going to save that for the extended episode. Okay, sounds good. So on the extended episode, we're going to talk about those tears, the sort of the... the, the One little issue. It depends on who you ask. Okay, depending <laughs> on who you ask. <laughs> okay, if you want to hear all about the little snafu, the big snafu, depends on who you ask. <laughs> yes. You can watch our extended episode on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash... Matthew and Paul right here. Or if you don't want to leave YouTube, you're right on YouTube, you love this app, you can tap right here and start watching immediately. And please come back next time as we continue the story. It is finally here, you guys. The big day. I swear. We're we really going to talk video, about we will it. Wake up. We're going to wake on up. Wedding day. Wedding day. Wedding bells. Wedding violins. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>